Morning Degustate Wine Clubs. Degustate is Guinness online commercialization platform. Chen Guinda ro kawan utarot kartuli Guinness kartu dobi da kawaketu da seuro kaushinis teritoriaze. Zalian kargi projektia da ime digwaks ro projektis meshweobit kwekne basashwaleba. Shem degi sape khurebi kawan utarot kompanista nishnovan da debi titroli shavitano ti industriash. Chenworth Pirueli, er terti Pirueli, zarmate bule kompani aukoi romelmats Europa shikari do bidaitko ta fundamentalur infrastruktura kwaela nairik agashene bule gok eklawart zdis etapse shesalomsat goniaro zalian didi zarmate bismixte va sheuzalia projekts ahu mamalsh. Konkretulat pitching izgara mulo dini gok ro. Idea profesional lebih perdan mungkin kita ada bicara pasal bas. Tapi sabu lo jam sih kadal, cuma dia tak pasal dia kan itu ada bit. Hi. Yeah, should we start? Okay. So this is the general impression when I get when we talk about wines. So everybody loves wine. I'm here to present Degustate Wine Club, and these are our actual products, so we actually produce them. And what I would like to say is that uh, generally the wine industry has accumulated huge amount of investment, but the problems that I'm uh, going to be presenting and that we're facing are unbelievable. Uh, so <clears throat> right now, uh, uh, what we have is a great product, but no way to commercialize it. So uh, basically, uh, uh, globally, the e-commerce is growing uh, double digits every year. We have no Georgian e-commerce whatsoever in the industry. And uh, even if uh, 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 the e-commerce uh, solution would be there, there is no way to deliver the product to the customers outside uh, Georgia, and especially no way to deliver to individual customers. Uh, there is a huge customer base of Willing and uh, uh, willing to pay and, and uh, uh, wanting to get the product, but they don't have the access uh, to the product. And uh, Georgian market is underserving uh, European Union due to the factors that I have already mentioned. So we have uh, really small penetration. And the problem uh, uh, that is going to be unbelievable. We live in an age of artificial intelligence, people flying to Mars, and there is absolutely no way for Georgian manufacturers who have great product to get paid. No way. Uh, banking system is developed, but it's a fact. No way to get the money. So we have a turnkey solution uh, for the industry. Basically, what we have is 400 plus manufacturers that produce great products, but no way to do uh, logistics, get paid, do the legal work for the export, and all of that. We provide them with the access. We do the whole uh, processing thing. We get the product. We do the legal work. We ship. Uh, the bulk shipment to our smart warehouse where we fulfill individual uh, customer orders and deliver that to the customer within 48 hours across European Union to 740 million coverage. Uh, <clears throat> we have a great scaling business model. So we have five revenue streams. We intend to cover and replicate uh, the uh, smart warehouses and fulfillment across 30 plus countries within the next five years. We have a very cheap to acquire with very low SAC, 2.1 million customers that are already willing to buy the product. We operate uh, a lean business model due to the fact that we have a wine club and customers subscribe. We already know the taste preferences and we have a very good gross marginality and part of important part of our revenue is subscription based. So basically what we're looking at is doubling the revenue for every year within the next five years. <clears throat> to get the general sense of the market size, it's uh, 250 billion plus, and direct to customer business is growing double digits and it's already 55 billion of the market. And Georgia is not participating there at all. And Georgian exports right now uh, uh, for the last year were 170 million. Uh, <clears throat> so uh, in terms of the competition, uh, what do we have? Uh, Georgia has a great product, 
great demand for the product, no modern commercialization uh, uh, channels. And we are not present in the uh, direct to the customer uh, business. Uh, International uh, providers obviously do that and obviously have uh, uh, great success in that, but don't have Georgian products. And Georgian products are in the high demand. <clears throat> uh, so, <clears throat> the current state of the business. We have uh, already produced and sold over 12,000 bottles. We have generated revenue of over 100,000. Uh, uh, we have <clears throat> Personally invested 150,000, and uh, we operate in two countries, so Germany and Georgia. Uh, and we have like uh, uh, a huge uh, uh, advantage right now because the timing is perfect. The product is there. Uh, the sales problems uh, are in the industry, so everybody's motivated to work with us, and the customer demand is really strong. <clears throat> And we are the actual first movers in what we are doing right now. And we figured out the way to leverage all the existing infrastructure. Uh, the, I would like to stress that we have an extremely strong team uh, behind uh, this company. So we have uh, 10 employees right now and three managing partners. Uh, I'd like to like, uh, explain who are the managing partners. Andre, Andre Vlasov is the guy actually uh, in charge of developing uh, premium Georgian brand, extremely successful rooms hotels. Uh, and uh, Georgi Treshalashvili is a technology leader. He was CEO of Beeline and Vion. And me, myself, I have worked for international companies for business development. <clears throat> uh, so what uh, is our next step right now? So we already operate in Germany. We have figured out how to do all the stuff necessary, meaning uh, the legal work to get the product there, how, how uh, this whole smart things are gonna work, the customer acquisition uh, channels, how we're gonna uh, uh, get access to the customer. And what we're looking at, we would like to open up a presence and operational country in Netherlands to cover uh, another big region and then expand from there onwards. <clears throat> so we think, uh, the, due to the demand and due to the availability of infrastructure and due to our experience, this is going to be a hugely successful uh, company uh, and greatly contribute to the general ecosystem uh, of the wine industry. Thank you. So, um, so with just the example of Germany, you're in Germany yep. now. So do you have a relationship with a well, two questions. Do you have a relationship with a delivery agent and, yep. and they do it for you? And how do you do the marketing in Germany? I mean, do you have a relationship with e-commerce companies? When you say you're, you need $40,000 to get into a new country, what exactly do you have to acquire to be in business in that okay. company? So uh, I'm going to uh, answer in two parts. So the logistics part. We uh, uh, operate, uh, we don't operate, we have a fulfillment center, which operates uh, the operational side. So uh, we digitally send the request, they pick, pack, and uh, send it. In Germany, for example, we use uh, DHL for the delivery, so it's like five euros 50 for Germany within two days. Uh, so we are gonna replicate that. And you hold inventory yeah. in Germany? Yeah, we do hold inventory in Germany to ensure 48 hours delivery. And, it, and is it your wine that you make, or do you have relationships with, Ger with Georgian winemakers and you, you basically come up with some sort of mix? Yeah, so basically we have a relationship with the Georgian winemakers, the guys that would not otherwise be able to deliver to Europe. Right. Okay. And we just do the labeling, the legal work, and everything. We make the liquid a product. Uh, that's the uh, first part. The second part, we buy a lot of databases and we have like really targeted databases that we buy. This is uh, expat communities from uh, a lot of post-Soviet countries. These are people that have visited here and we can trace them back. These are Georgian uh, people living in Germany. So, a lot of channels to target really particular niches. So we acquire and then uh, communicate to them. Uh, we have not yet expanded to general public because like the 
uh, understood public that is cheap to acquire. We already have that, and we already have that in many different places. So we have the databases for the initial uh, big, uh, uh, big revenue generation. And then you just use email outreach or something? We use all sorts of communication channels. Okay. You said you're selling Georgian wine. Are you promoting Georgian wine brands? Because it looked like they were your labels, <coughs> uh, not the winemaker's yes. labels. Yes. So basically, we have the understanding of the evolution of the sales channels. So the wine club, you subscribe to the wine club, you fill in the palette profile, we know your understanding, we evaluate your reviews, we, we study you. And we ship through the club, we ship the uh, products uh, that are to your liking. The next stage will be adding a multi-brand store, adding uh, different external sales channels, but due to the fact that this, uh, this is the uh, really sustainable business model, this uh, allows like uh, really good forecastability, really good forecastability for the stock as well. We went with the club initially, we're gonna operate club and then expand on the customer channels. We're gonna have other branded products as well, obviously. Actually, there's a, there's a company called Naked Wine. Naked Wine. It's, it works very well. Yeah. So we, uh, the great thing uh, right now is that we don't need to like break our necks over the mistakes that somebody else already has <laughs> made. So that's Good the great you. thing. We, we basically, I really love reading. So I read all the cases. Sure. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the question is, your, your, your primary market is the expat community. How many Georgian ex, uh, or uh, what is the ex expat community in Germany and what is the expat community in Netherlands that you want to market to? So basically, right now, uh, we have an understanding of the base for 2.1 million people. So these are the primary target audience we're going to be targeting initially. Uh, and in, where? Through Europe, through Germany, through Netherlands? Uh, through Nether uh, the countries that we're going to be able to cover from Germany and Netherlands. And from Germany, we can cover Austria. From Netherlands, we can cover Belgium. And like uh, in terms of logistics, we have a really good understanding. The thing is, it has to be cheap. It has to be quick. So uh, we need to replicate the uh, smart warehouses across the uh, European Union. So right now, uh, the uh, Netherlands market, we didn't choose it by accident. It, it is booming for the experts, for use, uh, uh, ease of doing business, for uh, the uh, uh, logistics, it, it has extremely good infrastructure. So when we went through and analyzed a lot of countries, and uh, the very important thing, they have a really huge uptrend in uh, wine drinking and e-commerce adaptation in terms of wine drinking. So. That's why we primarily focused on Netherlands right now. We think as a next stage, it is a really important one. So why would I, I think you are referring, you wanna actually target non just ex Georgian expat yes. community in Netherlands. I, yeah. I, I'm not sure there is that a uh, huge community in Netherlands I can of tell Georgians. You. Uh, but why would I buy a Georgian wine? If I belong to a club and they will send me like, uh, one bottle per month, one from New Zealand, one from Georgia, one no. from the uh, United States. Why would I belong just to a Georgian? Uh, th th that's a good question. And why, 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 would you, uh, why would you buy anything? Because the product is great. And uh, uh, I'll address your question by two answers. There is a huge expert community. For example, uh, a, huge number of, <laughs> a, hu ex, a huge number yeah. of Russian companies mm -hmm. have been moving to Netherlands yeah. due to the uh, ease of legal framework. So we, uh, we have a really good understanding of this Russian uh, base as well. And <clears throat> you have the ability to uh, get great products that are tailored to you. And this is something that every customer would love. We also offer you uh, the satisfaction guarantee policy, meaning that if you are not satisfied with our product, you can discontinue. So we have a lot of use cases for our product and we have a really good forecast and understanding and we are going well within our case. In terms of acquiring, we know how to do sales and how to do conversions. So <clears throat> uh, uh, the uh, community is sufficient, the product is great and what I would like to stress uh, more than anything, I'll get to that. What, what I would like to uh, stress is the whole customer experience matters, not just the liquid. Wine is not about drinking, it's about the experience. So you have the great box, great site, great service, great delivery, everything, and the liquid is great also. So 
the whole customer experience is great. And uh, uh, answer to your question, so we have a three bottles minimum, and the average price is going to be uh, 39 euros plus, and plus the delivery cost. So 39 for the three. Yeah. It's tough to find great wine at that price. Yeah, well, yeah, uh, uh, that's the starting point. Well, thank you. That was yeah. a great pitch. Thank you. فکر پیش ما چای را کارگرد شکیت خو بی ای خو تالیان گاز را بولی چه می آذرید ممکنی کمیکاسیا کارگرد مختاد میخوانن بیزنس مدلی شین آرسی راری شه سال میشه شه میذله داده بیته چه آپاسو زودگذاد سرولیگام استیل با.